All right, continuing with the parallel spot line. This is a uh, this is all well and good. If that's what you're looking for. But now I would like to turn and take a look at something a little bit different. Uh, visible light. Basically, it's seeing the light that's actually there. And you can do this with an omni light or spotlight or any other light. Except notice that you cannot do it with an area light. I'll go over area lights a little bit later. So we go back to par parallel spot. And we get visible light. If we go to visibility, we can actually see it. The fall off. Edge fall off. And uh, what's interesting is here, you can also use a gradient. And here's the distance here. Here we go. So we can actually raise it out further than the light itself. And notice also it has its own individual brightness. This brightness is actually separate from the brightness of the light itself. If we were to turn the brightness all the way down to negative, you notice we still have visible light. But we can turn that up just a little bit. And turn this down quite a bit. And of course with the gradient we actually have control over the light. So if we wanted to make different colors of lights we could within the same light. So I guess kind of making a candle light here I guess. Somewhat of a flame effect. Mm -hmm. Of course you'd have to experiment with that. That's just how you would change it. Mm -hmm. All right. Take that off here. And just observe all the options you have available to you and just check them out. <coughs> um, photometric intensity. This is something new to Cinema 4D release 12. <laughs> And actually has to do more so with the camera. So if you turn that off, because your brightness is still controlled with the intensity here, this is what it looked like as if it was taken by a camera. And they also have lumens, and notice that's quite a few lumens. If you're familiar with lumens, uh, I think if I believe I'm correct, your average 60 watt light produces about maybe up to 600 lumens so you notice that's actually several thousand lumens that's quite a few lumens if I say so myself and caustics I don't have that I do know what it is and you probably know what it is too uh, if you were using glass and all that you can have the effects of glass and the lighting effects come right behind it here's noise this is actually um, determines what's being projected. Let's turn this light back to an omni light and let's take off the visible light here. Notice we have different types of visible light also. Alright, back to omni light. So you'll notice something a little strange going on here. <coughs> with the noise and notice you can also animate this if you look through the frames and render them out it will actually start to move if you so desire it to hmm. if you can imagine if you had like this as a parallel light way up in uh, into the air or should I say your 3D space you can kind of have this going over over your ground and kind of create an overcast feel if you would like. 
and uh, not least have lens which is actually just what you'd probably expect it's generally a lens effect on your camera when you render it out you can also make your own this would probably be good for an LED flashlight got stars you just stick a bunch of these in the air and of course you have to have your sun so that represents a, that's a pretty good representation of what you would see as a sun if you're actually using a camera that's usually what you see is something really really blown out so something to keep in mind maybe something you probably won't use too much but it is available and the scene there's something you don't want rendered so if we duplicate this light move it around here we, ha we essentially have two lights two shadows But we can exclude things so if we have sphere excluded on one and the cube excluded on the other only this light is lying the sphere and only this light is lying the cube however <coughs> we can simply have it where just the shadow is excluded so they're both lit by each light you can see this light is lighting this specular here and this light is reflecting off here but only this light is casting a shadow and only this light is casting a shadow so this is helpful if you're trying to do some tricky lighting setups where you need light on one thing perhaps, perhaps more often than not the ground since most of the lights are angled in such a way that the ground hardly gets any light in a particular location you usually need to shine some light on the ground in particular so next up I think I'll discuss three-point lighting setup oh wait one more quick thing here notice that the type of light here is omni which would basically be a point or ambient please notice all your settings down here lights don't have to emit specular they cannot be affected by global illumination if you have that activated of course you can disable diffuse and you have you can also have ambient il illumination which is generally ambient light otherwise they function as point lights which is probably what you usually want in most cases